There was a girl who became Muslim in our school and I was just checking up on her one day and I asked her, I said, do you make dua for yourself? And she said, no. Now obviously we know that Allah asks us to make dua. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ When my, your, my servants are asking about me, tell them I'm close. أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ I answer the call of the caller when he calls. Allah wants us to call to him. So I knew that this was like kind of not the right approach, right? That, that you're not asking Allah for yourself. But I didn't really understand the explanation behind it. You know, like, because it does kind of make sense. It's like, okay, why is it not a selfish thing to do? To, to make dua for yourself. And it took years and years and years of like just contemplation. But I realized at some point, I was like, wait a second. Let's say I want something. Let's say I want something that maybe is not even like the most Islamic, right? Let's say I want an Xbox, you know? Now I have the option to make dua for the Xbox. Like, oh Allah, please give me an Xbox. Or I have the option to uh, not ask Allah, but still try to obtain an Xbox. Ultimately, at the end of the day, if I get that Xbox, it's from Allah. Right? Regardless of whether I asked or I didn't ask. So now the question is not like, okay, should I ask Allah? The question is, is there value in asking as opposed to not asking? And the answer is, of course, yes. Because I'm asking Allah, I've acknowledged Allah's presence. I've acknowledged His existence. I have developed a connection, an opportunity for me to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so a good follow-up question here, actually, that someone asked me was like, why does Allah need us to ask when he already knows what is in our hearts. He already knows what we need. He already knows what we want. Why even make us ask the question? And I actually think this answer is very, very beautiful. So when I was in college, I actually used to talk to my mom every single day. And a lot of times she would ask me things like, what did you have for breakfast? Now, when I really stopped to think about it, I was like, what difference does it make what I had for breakfast or not? Like it, it, if I had waffles for breakfast or if I had cinnamon toast crunch, it is not going to affect my mom's life even in the slightest, like not even a little bit, right? Yet she wants to know, right? She wants to talk to me. And same with me, right? Like I'm asking her things that don't benefit me, that don't impact me, but I'm just asking her, right? Oh, what TV shows are you watching? Like what does it matter to my life? It doesn't, right? But I realize that this is the core of love, you know? When you really, really love someone, you want to spend as much time with them as possible. You know, you want to talk as long as humanly possible. Like for example, in the Quran, there's a story of Musa alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam uh, is asked by Allah, he's having his first conversation with Allah. And Allah says, وَمَا تِلْكَ بِيَمِينِكَ يَا مُوسَى What is in your right hand, O Musa? Musa alayhi salam says, قَالَ هِيَ عَصَايَ أَتَوَكَّهُ عَلَيْهِ This is my staff. I use it to, to support my weight. And I use it to flock my sheep. And I have other uses for it. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not ask him, what do you use the stick for? He says, what's in your hand? He could have just said, it's a stick. But Musa a.s. realizes that he's in a very privileged position right now. He is talking to the one he loves directly. He's talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. And he's like, man, I need to delay this conversation. I need to tell Allah everything. I'm like, okay, this is my stick. I lean on it. I use it with my sheep. I do other things with it, right? Why? Because he has that love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when Allah is, is putting in us a haja, a need, and then he's asking us to make dua, he's asking us to talk to Allah. It's not really about the thing because those things are, are meaningless to Allah. Allah doesn't care. He could give you a thousand of those things, you know, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't decrease him any. What's valuable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that you asked. Is the, the actual act of you reaching out to Allah and talking to Him. out of it, and, and in hopes that this would lead to like this relationship of love. In hopes that this would lead to a deeper connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like this is, Allah wants us to build a relationship with Him. And so I thought that was, a, that was an interesting reflection. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Jazakallah khair for listening.